Descartes understood straight lines. That might not seem like much to you, but it led to the invention of Cartesian coordinates, which are named after Descartes, although he didn't invent them, and to the principle of inertia, which Galileo hadn't quite gotten straightened out. <laughs> Descartes was a great scientific optimist. He thought that we would come to understand everything we needed to know in a few years if we would just follow a few rational principles, which of course he was kind enough to lay out for us. One thing he deserves credit for is the idea of the mechanical universe. That is, a universe that would inexorably work out its destiny following precise mechanical laws. It was rather like a clock or one of those exquisite mechanical toys the craftsmen of his era used to make. But the analogy broke down in one important respect. A clock has to be wound up from time to time. And Descartes did not want that kind of intervention from the creator of his universe. And so he needed some principle that would keep the universe running forever. And the one he hit upon was the idea that the total quantity of motion in the universe was fixed. That is, if one thing slowed down and came to rest, another body would have to speed up and start moving. That idea eventually became the law of conservation of momentum. And that's our subject for today. These men live by certain laws. Sometimes beyond the gambling statutes of the city and county of Los Angeles, but well within certain laws of classical mechanics. They make their living off the art and science of pocket billiards. Not every man enters Chalky's Billiard Academy to illustrate the conservation laws. Not every man here fully appreciates the fact that win or lose, classical mechanics governs the game of pool. Most walk down Chalky's narrow stairs to shoot a stick or to profit from the experience by some other means. But odds are, when certain laws of physics are applied just right, every man here fully appreciates the effects. Of course, while a billiard ball may obey those laws perfectly, the principles behind them didn't originate in Chalky's Billiard Academy. Some of those principles, like the game of pocket billiards itself, originated in France. As a youth in the Catholic France of the early 17th century, René Descartes